Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2014. So we are here with this problem 1 of your paper. This problem is an analysis problem. So let us firstly have a look. Let fx is equal to x square minus 25 modulus for all x belongs to R. The total number of points of R at which f attains a local extremum is. So these are your options, right? Now see, uh, we have this function fx is equal to modulus of x square minus 25 such that x belongs to R for all x belongs to R, right? Now, uh, this is a modulus function, okay? So, what do you know about mod? Mod, mod actually defines like this. Mod is defined like this, that it, it, it is x when x is greater than or equal to 0. It's minus x when x is, uh, when x is less than 0. So, this is how your mod function is defined. So what we can do, we can define the same thing for your fx, okay? Because fx is, is itself a modulus function. So firstly, I will draw a number line, okay? And using that number line, it will be better for us. Suppose this is our number line. Let us say this is 0, okay? Now see, this is x square minus 25. So what do you think when this number will be positive? This number is positive when x is greater than 5 right so let us say this so uh, after this 5 your fx is positive right after this 5 this is positive now if you will choose a number which is less than minus 5 then it still it will be positive right because it's x square it will not have a effect of negative on it so even if you place a number which is less than minus 5 then also it's positive right so it's positive here also. Are you getting my point? Now in between it's negative. Okay, that's clear. Right? So now you can define your function like this that fx will be okay. Fx will be uh, x square minus 25 when x belongs to minus infinity to 5 close from this side oh I should write minus 5 okay union 5 to infinity are you getting my point now it's 25 minus x square when x belongs to uh, when x belongs to this uh, this interval uh, minus 5 to 5 and from this side it's okay it's an open interval are you getting my point or not so see this is how it happens now what you have to do you have to find out the maxima and minima okay so if you try to use the rule uh, if you try to use the rule um, that is second derivative test right so if you try to use second derivative test here, what, what will be the problem? The problem is with the derivative. So that whether the derivative will exist on, on these two points or not. This is minus 5, okay? So you have to check whether the derivative will exist on these two points or not. So if not, then you cannot apply second derivative test on these two points. Are you getting my point or not? So now since you have a problem with the second derivative test, so you cannot apply it with it. Are you getting my point? So one way to do is that firstly you check whether it's differentiable on these two points or not. Okay. Now what I can assure you right now that if you will check whether it's differentiable on minus 5 and 5, you will find out that it's not differentiable at all. That means you cannot apply second derivative test. Okay. Now it's clear. Okay. So that means you have to apply first derivative test in order to uh, in order to uh, check your extremums, right? So what's first derivative test? Okay, so I will differentiate this. Okay, this function is differentiable if x belongs to minus infinity to minus five 
open from this side are you getting my point on minus 5 and 5 it's a problem okay we don't know right now whether on minus 5 and 5 uh, is a point of differentiability or not but uh, except those point we know that it's differentiable right so differentiable will uh, differentiation will be this when x belongs to minus infinity to minus 5 and oh, I'm using open from this side now now on this one what you will get you will get minus 2x right so now let me draw a number line for you so let us say okay let us say this is your number line okay let us say this is your number line this is 0 right this is 5 this is minus 5 okay so uh, I am writing derivative on all the point except minus 5 and 5 okay because we don't know the value of derivative there okay so now see before minus 5 when x is not minus uh, before on this side okay on this side I am talking so before minus 5 what is happening if you will see that your derivative is 2x so if x is negative okay lesser than minus 5 then you will get a negative value that means your sine of f dash x okay sine of f dash x is less than 0 here okay I am writing this as a sine of f dash x so uh, before minus 5 it's negative now after uh, between minus 5 and 0 so if you are moving in minus 5 and 0 you will get minus 2x right so that means if you will put a negative value here you will get positive fx so in this interval minus 5 to 0 you will get positive right now here from 0 to 5 you have you have defined function on this way right so since it's minus 2x and you are putting a positive value on it so on this thing the derivative is positive oh sorry it's negative okay it's negative here now after 5 that if you are putting a value which is positive and it's it's bigger than 5 it's going to be positive right so that means on this part of your uh, real axis your function was increasing your fx was increasing uh, sorry decreasing because your f dash x is less than 0 right so since f dash x is less than 0 on minus infinity to minus 5 that means your function was decreasing on this interval right so let us draw okay a rough diagram i'm not drawing a proper diagram but it's a rough diagram completely rough so you see your function will act like this okay your function will act like this up till here that it's a decreasing function we don't know that it will cross x axis or not but what do we know so far that it will be like this decreasing something now after minus 5 you know that f dash x is greater than 0 okay on minus 5 to 0 so it has to increase after this okay it has to increase so let us increase this up till 0 it will increase now after 0 you see on 0 to 5 f dash x is again less than 0 right so it will decrease from here like this now on 5 to infinity it, it is again positive great positive that means it will increase from here so it's a rough diagram we are not saying that this is the actual diagram but what you have to find out you have to find out the extremums that is minimum or maximum okay so uh, firstly you need to understand here that you, you are not going to evaluate the global maximum you have to evaluate locally okay you have to evaluate this thing locally where is it okay this one so you have to evaluate this thing the maxima and minima locally that means around uh, in a certain interval it should be a maximum value right 
now you know that function will never break because it's a continuous function okay modulus of x square minus 25 is a continuous function so it will not break so even if it is not differentiable on minus 5 that means you will get a sharp edge here but around this interval this on this interval this uh, the value at minus 5 will be the maximum value sorry minimum value are you getting my point now on zero okay on zero you have derivative zero right because f dash of x is zero when uh, when x is equal to zero from this one so derivative is zero so on this interval you have this as your maximum value because we are finding it locally we are not finding it globally so this is maximum so we, we got one local minimum one local maximum and one local uh, minimum is also here are you getting my point so this is how your curve looks looks roughly but using that rough diagram what we can do we can find out local maximum minima okay i'm not saying that we are going to find out global maximum because we don't have enough information for that okay we have but we we have to use we have inf enough information but we have to go on long okay we have to th think about many things so this is how you can solve so that means c is your actually a correct answer so now let me mark so c is a correct one d is incorrect uh, where is it okay b is incorrect and a is incorrect right so this is how we can proceed so thank you